Welcome back to my channel, Frugal with John. Today we're going to be working on a 2013 Mercedes-Benz C300. The door handle broke. Currently it's a common problem. I still don't understand why it's not a uh, recall, safety recall. You try to open the door and it just breaks inside. What I'm going to be doing today is taking this panel off, taking this apart, and it's not designed to come apart. Uh, it's happened so often that aftermarket companies have made a part to go here. Okay, he got a quote from uh, Mercedes-Benz for $1,400 and you got to throw tax on top of that. So in total, it was 14 and change. In total, you're looking at, to replace this broken handle, roughly $1,600. Like I say, ridiculous. The tools I'm going to be using are different plastic wedges. Lean Lowe's Torx 30, plastic wedges. This is the first time in 39 years I'm working on vehicles I've actually seen a door handle break. Quality, Mercedes. <clears throat> take this panel off. What you got to do is a whole bunch of electrical connections in here. You got to take the uh, tweeter, small speaker. You got to take this panel off. You got to take the trim off over here and then you got to pull this off. And then you got to unhook a bunch of uh, cables and wires in there. Pry in behind here. There's a little lip. And pry that back. And you get your foam right here. Okay, I'll set that here. Get this out of my way if I can. And then here you got a wire for your speaker. You're going to find this is extremely hard to get off. Uh, took it off earlier. There's no real clip on it. It's kind of just really tight. The thing is you press too hard on this plastic, you crack it. Okay, in order to get this piece off, which is was rather difficult, you got to watch when you do it. There's a piece right here that sticks up through there. So what I did was, it's really difficult. You got to get in behind this seal it's a felt seal you got to get in there and you got to it's like I say not easy anyway because you get under this seal but you got to get under the plastic so I took so much off this side so much off this side excuse me and then when I got to this point it was easy then I just pulled it down I can see it being difficult if you try to take it all at one piece without taking both sides out and then there's two clips right here which you pull off over here Anyway, I'll put you back on the other side. Like I say, not easy to take off, but not impossible. Take your time and get it off. The next stage is this H-clip. You can see it's never been touched yet. I haven't pulled it out. I haven't attempted it yet. So, they say you go in here and you pull this out. Okay, so that came out fairly easy. So that comes out. Inside here, let me get the flashlight. There's a clip that holds it on the top and the bottom. And it's behind this piece of metal. So there's no way of actually coming in this side or this side to get it out. You have to go through the inside to actually lift it. So I uh, need three hands here, but we'll give it a shot. See if I can get the clips up. Okay, shove your tool in behind here. Get a bit of pressure on it. And now I can line this up and inside Okay, I got the top one out already earlier. I just come in behind here and push that up at the same time. Pry it out. Okay, I got it out in one piece. So I take my pick. I come inside here and I go underneath and I pry that down, that clip, and I pull it out a bit. And I do the same thing on the bottom. I'll just turn it around. And... I also pry that one down and pull it out a bit more and then it gets caught in the thing and then you just got to... Anyway, it comes out with a pick. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is take the two screws out in the door. And this is the easy part. The hard part is to come. I put a little thing on the floor in here. That's why I'm putting everything on so I don't lose it later. Okay. One screw out. Magnetic screwdriver helps. Now I got to get the three clips that are in here. Roughly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine clips to hold this in. You can't see them, but they're roughly the spots I pointed to. A bit of tape on the back side of this so it doesn't scratch the door. Let's see if I go in there. Yeah, I'll just trim that tape up. Okay, just a bit of tape so when I'm sliding it in here, I'm not scratching the paint inside the door.
Okay, there's one. I think that might be far enough. There's two. Okay, there's another one out. There's another one out. There's another one out. Hey, there's another one out. And I gotta get that one out over here. There's one left in the far corner. There we go. Okay, brute force. I don't like pulling them out like that because you could actually break something. Okay, here comes the fun part. Take the door panel off. As you lift out the door a bit, then you actually will take it from this side. Because it's hooked on this little lip right here. But you got to watch it because it's also has a bunch of wires connected to it. Here's the broken handle. It's still attached to the door. In order to take it out of the door, you just move this back. You slide it out like this and it comes out. Then there's two electrical connections right here. But I need two hands to take them out. The blue one, you got to push the clamp down. Let's take the red one out first because it's closer. And then the blue one. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm no, just focusing on here. The two cables, that's why I want the screwdriver. Is you push these down and you pull them out. And that's where the uh, this gets hooked. You just slide the casing back and lift it out of here. And here's a broken handle. I'll show you how thin that plastic is. It's ridiculous. I put it on a table with a couple of uh, old blankets so it doesn't scratch it. And unfortunately, all these plastic things have to be taken off because it's not really designed to come apart. You get a close look at how thin the plastic is and eventually it just breaks. Should be a recall. I gotta take this one off too. Yeah, to take that off, what I gotta do is I gotta, oh. I gotta take, grind this off, this off, this off, this, 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 <laughs> that. That, 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 that. Yeah, take these screws out. This whole thing has to come apart. All these have to come out. All these have to come out. This whole door has to be disassembled and this piece has to come out to take one pin out because it's the door is not designed to come apart. If there's any left in the door, you take them off the door and you put them back in the panel because you'll never get the panel to sit proper. Now, we got to disconnect this right here. I don't know what it's for. It's on the other side. And the LED strip that comes out here the led lights inside here and this is like a plastic strip that goes up to illuminate anyway you got to come in behind here and you got to lift up this here then there's another one at the bottom i may have to push the one down the bottom without breaking the plastic that goes through here Okay, the LED is right there, and it's just a plastic light strip that goes up through there. That's out. Then you undo this. I guess you can push that down too. Take that out. Now you get that out of your way. Okay, next we're going to take off. I think that's the only wires going to what I'm taking apart. Yeah. Uh, these five 10 millimeter. Things, aluminum bolts that hold this piece. Everything all in the same spot, so I don't lose anything. You see these? Are the, I don't know if you can see them. I'm not sure not. Just go on there and make one thread. Pretty flimsy, but it's all industry standard. We're designed to uh, stuff around plastic. Industry standard doesn't mean good. It just means that everybody else is using. Oh, yeah. Okay. I thought it broke. It didn't. Okay, so that took that piece out. I'll just put that aside. This is a trim piece from inside the door. And then to get that front panel out, one more here. Two 
10 millimeter nuts. Yeah, I just held on by one screw and a bunch of clips inside here, which makes it a little on the difficult side to take out. I'm down to one clip left. You got it? Yeah. Anyway, that clip, that's out. I'll put that back in the back seat. Yeah, okay, that was a little difficult. I got to grind all these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to bore you with taking all these out. Okay, so I, I have them all ground, grounded off. I ground some and I clipped some. Uh, some of them I couldn't clip. They were just melted too weird. So I used both things to take them off. So after you get them all done, you just go around, you check, make sure everything's off. And you have to separate the bottom. Okay, so you pull this back. What that does is all the uh, white things comes out. You got it? And then you take it out. Hold on. Wait. Yeah, yeah, leave it go. I see it. And you take it out. Okay, so next, I have to drill this out. So I'll take my center punch. I got a hole dead center. So I'll just take a small drill bit. Make sure I'm centered. Okay, we'll try a screw, my whole center, and I'll find a screw to fit in there and pull it out. Okay, I got two screws. I don't know which one is going to work. I'm going to try the smaller one first. Okay, it came out, and then the broken handle comes out. Okay, I got the new one with the new pin. You know, pins like this, it goes in and locks in. Now we have this in, we got to put it back in this, and then we got to put all the screws in. My assistant to hold this up in the same corner as before, so I can squeeze it in. You got to move this back. And you got Sit down. It's got to get lined up and then get all the start getting all the screws in there. Okay, I'll just start the screws in here and then as I'm working, I'll make sure it all lines up. That's in. There's a couple of clips in this also. I got to find where they are. Okay, there. That clips in, which holds it in place. That's up there. And I think there was one more. Yeah, right here. Okay, we'll start getting the screws in. And the kit comes with comes with these screws. Some of them have holes, some don't. So the ones that don't, I'm going to uh, pre-drill. Take the washer, take the screw, put it through. I'm going to grab a screwdriver just to snug them up because I don't want to rely on that to put them down or over tight. Anyway, I'm going to go put all these screws in. Like I say the ones that are not drilled, I'll pre-drill them like these ones right here. And I'm not going to bore you with it. I'll show you after it's done. Okay, you can see all the screws I went back in. There's 20 of them in total. So you got here, here, here. All these have to be uh, grinded out or clipped off. However you tried, I had to do both. Some I wouldn't clip off, some I had to grind out. Anyway, you take a look as you go through there. There's quite a, quite a few of them. And then the two normal screws that go back in. There's two areas that you have to uh, grind out. I couldn't clip these. I tried. Anyway, there's no screws that go in there because there's, no, you know, there's not enough room in the back. And there's no screws that came with it, so they know that they just stay like that. Okay, so next thing, we're going to put the... Uh, the trim piece back in. The trim pieces go in, which I'm going to put the front one in first, but this one goes here, and then you put the screws back in. Just make sure you get it all lined up and underneath this thing. I'll get that in after I get this front piece in. This one's difficult to come out, so I can tell it. It's probably going to be difficult going back in. There's clips all over it. Here. 
get that piece in. Then you take your kind of funny looking things here. It doesn't take much to screw these on. You don't, if you go too tight, you just end up breaking them. Just enough to get them on there. Now we'll get this piece in. I got a whole lot as I put the screws in. Or the, whatever you call these things. Well nuts or something like that, I think they're called. That's pretty much all the strength that needs to go on. It's just a little thing like this. Okay, those are in. Next, we'll be hooking these wires back in. I cut the wire tie that was here. I'm going to put another one back in once I get these wires hooked in. And I tape this stuff back just to get it out of my way while I'm working on here. So this is the one you got to be really careful with. It's the LED. And I believe this one has to go in first before the LED goes in or then you can't get it in. That's in. And the LED, I believe I took it this way. It's really fragile. Yeah, that's in. Yeah, you got to be really careful with this one. The LED here, and it goes all the way up and shines up here. Okay, we'll get the uh, wire tie back in that I cut off earlier to get these wires out of my way while I was getting stuff out of here. You just grab the standard wire tie. And then we'll bring this back out. I just glued this to itself to get it out of my way. This door should be ready to go back in. But I need to get the uh, piece that goes here. Okay, it's out without breaking it. Anyway, it goes on the new part. This part goes on the up. Okay, that's in. So this is ready to go back in. I'm going to wash my hands because I don't want to get them too dirty. I want to get the inside of the car dirty. Okay, everything's back together. Flip it around. That's what it looks like. New handle going in. Now if you look in the door here, you can see right here when I took it out, there's a red dot here and a blue dot here. And it's color coded. And this is a green dot, but I didn't have to take this one off. So the red one to go in here. The blue one to uh, plug in there and then of course that gets hooked up and those get hooked up and then you got to make sure all your clamps are all your holders are in the door in the right place these here you can make sure these are all in sitting in proper before you put it in not in the door if you try to do it in the door you'll not, <laughs> never get it in okay you grab the door you plug the red side in i think actually i plug the blue one first it seems to be the closest one to get to the easiest one to get to And the red. Or pink or purple, or whatever color you want to call this. Those are in. And your handle is. All the cable back. And push it forward into the holder. <clears throat> and then get the door up over this. And then you start putting the clamps in place.
Okay, door panel's back in. Now I gotta put the uh, trim around the door, then I'll put the uh, tweeter back in. And it's working again. Make sure everything works. My lock's working. The light and door's working. Lock, unlock is working. Okay, everything's working. Put this block back in, same way it came out with the latches in top and bottom. That goes in here. Okay, that goes in, and then the H part goes in. This is only designed to go in one way. If you take a close look in there, you'll see. Now, if you take a look at this, there's two grooves, and here there's a center groove. And if you look in there, the two grooves, the H part would go. Two in the top, it's the way I put it in. I could put it in the other way, but it's the way I decided to put it in. And that's locked in. As I mentioned, this piece has to go on the outside. And this goes on the lip all in here. You need to line these two clips in here. Not the easiest thing to go in. Easier to come out than go in. Yeah, much easier to come out than go back in, but okay. Oh, that's done. Not the easiest thing to put in. The tweeter. Fix that in place. There's clips on this side that hook one, two, three. There's three clips, three, and then this. Wraps around this corner here. Get this plugged in. Plug the tweeter back in. Okay, we'll get this side in. And then we'll just push it up to the clips. All right. That's it? Yeah. Done? Done. We checked everything. Everything's working. Windows, doors, lights. And last thing you do is, uh, what I tend to do is, I when I take stuff off a vehicle, I tend to put it into a tray, either set it inside, up there, you can buy metal ones, and they have a magnet on them. You can stick them places. I just tend to grab this one or an old butter one. Anyway, so make sure you check to make sure you got no parts left. And what I got left from when I took this off are just two of these, which go under here. So I'll get those in. And one more over here. I won't tighten them fully up until I get both of them in. Let me say it's on a magnetic screwdriver. My parts trays empty. It means all the parts I took out are now back on the vehicle. Okay, that's the defective plastic door handle on the Mercedes-Benz. This is a 2013 C300. Anyway, uh, the panel inside, I noticed it was uh, manufactured by uh, Magna. It's written on side, so they manufactured the part, of course, to Mercedes-Benz specifications. And anyway, you ended up with this. Apparently, it's a huge problem. If you like the channel, can you give it a thumbs up? Subscribe and hit the bell. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now.